Hi, welcome to Castle Mountain Resort located in Southern Alberta in the Rocky Mountains. My name is Morgan and I have a couple ski tips for you to help you improve your balance and your turn shape. When we're doing a carved turn, to make a nice smooth rounded turn, the tip and the tail need to follow on the same path. Notice on these turns, I'm just pressing on the front of the boot. Because I'm doing that, my tip and the tail of the ski are not following the same path. You can actually see my tail of my ski wash out. All right, let's see here. Wow, when I'm pressing on the front of the boots at the start of the turn, I'm actually moving forward less because I'm just stuck there. And the tail of the ski is not active. Ah, this causes me to start the turn with my shoulders making more of a Z shape. The weight on the inside ski is not impressive either. Edging was really effective. So today's tip, it's all about trying to get onto those heels and improving your back movement backwards metric on carb. So what I try to feel is as I enter into the fall line, I now have to slightly move back with my mass by pressing down on the heel. I'm not leaning on it. I feel like I'm just sinking my heels into snow or into sand as I go through the turn. What that will allow me to do is it gives me more grip and a better uh, ability to manage the pressures that are acting upon us and the ski. There we go. Notice how the balance is now starting to move forward at the beginning of the turn and backwards at the end of the turn, which also allows me to topple a little bit more effectively. And consequently, it gives me better edging ability as well. All right, so next time you're on the slopes, remember, feel that heel in the middle of the turn. It's gonna really help you carve out those turns. This has been Morgan Ingle at beautiful Castle Mountain Ski Resort. Come join me for a carb camp. You can find all the information at uh, www.skicastle.ca.